This is the Donna DAG1C acoustic guitar. This is extremely affordable and it actually plays and sounds pretty great. Let's see how it sounds. Howdy folks, this is Shane. This is one of the most affordable acoustic guitars you can buy out there, hands down, while still being playable. It's not cheap junk, it actually feels great to play. Let's check it out up close. Here's the guitar up close. Now this is a full size acoustic, obviously with the cutaway, so you can kind of get up a little bit further here if you so choose. A couple of the cool things I've added to, some strap locks are already on, so you don't have to worry about that as well. And for the price, that's pretty great. Sometimes they don't even come with these on some acoustics, you have to kind of put the strap over the actual headstock area here, which I don't kind of like. The tuners seem pretty reliable as well. Here they are up close. They're kind of like a black finish, which is different as well. I think they look pretty sweet. I actually like how they've kind of burnt the uh, Donna logo into or etched it into the headstock. I think that looks pretty sweet. Now these, it says these are brass frets. Now I'm not 100% certain of that. I, I can't really tell, but I, you know, that's going off the specs on the website. One of the great things about this pack is you get so much free stuff. So you get a free set of acoustic strings on top of the strings that are already on the guitar. We get some picks as well. So I think there's five in there, which is pretty nice. We get the guitar capo that I used in the intro and I'll show you that right now. That's right here. So there you go, pretty awesome. We get a clip-on tuner as well. Now these things can be valued at about eight to 12 bucks depending on where you live. So that's pretty sweet. Same with the capo actually. We get an Allen key for adjusting the truss rod, and it does have a truss rod. We also get the optional sort of uh, pick guard, scratch plate thing. I think that's pretty wild, just it's an adhesive thing. I'm probably gonna leave it off. I kind of got used to the guitar without it, but it's great that they included that. We get also a cleaning cloth as well. It's a microfiber cloth. How great is this? And lastly, and maybe the best thing, we get a strap, and the strap isn't one of those ones that kills your neck either. It's like a canvas material, so it's nice and soft. It's a cloth material. It's not that hard sort of plastic crap that you can you just want to throw out as soon as you try it on. This actually looks like and feels like a really good strap, and to get it for free, it's pretty sweet. And lastly, here's the gig bag for the guitar as well. We get a handle at the top. You can wear it as a backpack if you so choose. And this actually feels like a pretty good material. I recently bought a couple of electric guitar gig bags for about, I don't know, 30 bucks here in Australia. This actually feels like a better case. It's padded as well, not super padded or anything like that, but there is padding around the edges, which is good. So, you know, if you're putting it on the ground or something like that, you're definitely not gonna damage the guitar, but I wouldn't go putting anything too heavy on top of this, you know, if you're in the car or traveling or, or something like that. But it's a nice light case and it feels good. 
A couple of things to point out about this guitar is it's a straight up acoustic, so there's no pickup system or anything like that in it. For its price, that's not surprising. So you're gonna get a good guitar, you can play at home or jam with friends and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you look at the back of the neck, it's got that matte finish as well. I really dig this. It almost, to me, feels like a 50s profile sort of Gibson neck. Maybe not quite as fat as that, but it's along those lines. So it's a pretty chunky neck for an inexpensive guitar. Usually inexpensive guitars tend to have really thin necks, probably to save costs, but this one actually feels good in my hand. The Donna website has this particular guitar for 125 bucks. 125 bucks, how great is that? And if you sort of shop smart on there, sometimes you can get a discount as well. Now, I don't work for Donna. This isn't a paid review or anything like that. I'm gonna give you my pros and cons of this guitar at the end, but overall, I'm pretty impressed. There's just a few things about it that you might need to sort of tweak if you get it home, but for what you pay, getting a gig bag, getting all the accessories, it's pretty sweet. So uh, let me know what you think. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. I've got the guitar mic'd up with a Rode NT2A microphone. We're gonna try some stuff with a pick and also without it as well, just to see what kind of sounds we can get. Let's give this a shot. This is with the pick. And now without it. Something just really nice about the sound of an acoustic guitar when you don't use a pick. I kind of dig it. Let's try some percussive sort of finger style stuff, same sort of groove. So what you just heard before was a dry acoustic track and now I'm gonna add some effects. I'll put whatever I put on the actual guitar track now on screen just so you can hear how it might sound with a bit of post-production if you're recording at home. So here we go. And now lastly, a little bit without the pick with the produce sound, so here we go. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm gonna give you some of the pros and cons about this guitar. So some of the pros are, for its price, it's unbelievable. I had a Maton 325C for about 10 years. I think acoustically in the room, this sounds way better than that. 
and that's saying something. So, you know, the Maton sounded great plugged in, but acoustically it was very dead, sort of very flat sounding guitar. Uh, for the price, this is, this is awesome. It feels great, it's nice and light. It feels like a quality instrument. The finish, the, that matte finish feels amazing as well. If someone handed you this and didn't tell you the price, you'd be pretty shocked. And I'm putting myself out there saying that this feels like a much better guitar than what it is. It almost feels like a court acoustic guitar. Somewhere along those lines, maybe not quite with the attention to detail, which I'll get to in a moment, but just in terms of its actual feel, how the finish on the neck feels, how the finish on the body feels, all that kind of stuff, the weight, it reminds me a lot of a court guitar. And that's a good thing because court make great stuff. Now, in terms of what I'm hearing in the room, like I said, it sounds great to my ear, and hopefully that translates through the microphone as well. In terms of the tuning, it seems to be pretty good. I did notice one of the tuning pegs was a little bit loose, but get a screwdriver in there and tighten it up, and you should be good if any of them come loose out of the box. Now, one criticism I have of it is the bottom edges of the frets are pretty sharp, so if you buy this, just be careful of that. It's funny because the top edge feels fine, it's just the bottom edge feels like that. Oh yeah, like these ones here are pretty sharp. I'm probably gonna take the strings off, just give it a little bit of a sand to take off some of that edge. It feels like it's just slightly hanging off the edge of the uh, fretboard there. I'll see if I can post some uh, close up photos of that. But that's totally not a deal breaker. It's a five minute thing to fix, so nice and simple. And in terms of the action, it plays and sounds pretty good. I haven't played an acoustic guitar for a very long time. So the action is slightly different to say an electric guitar. So it took me a little, you know, a couple of days to sort of get my hands back used to an acoustic guitar and I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully it recorded well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think for the price though, if you're looking for something that a beginner can start with, that's, you know, easily playable, this is a really great guitar. Dr. Rick, my friend who's on the channel, and I didn't tell him the price at the start. He picked it up, although he's a right-handed player. He picked it up and he had. He goes, man, this sounds good. Like, what's this worth? And I told him and he was shocked. So for the money, it's a pretty great guitar. It doesn't need a whole lot of work, which is great too. You don't want to get an acoustic guitar and there's things that are extremely bad or wrong about it. I think it goes to show today's day and age. You can pretty much get a good affordable instrument that would appeal to beginners as well as intermediate players or maybe even someone a little bit more advanced too who's looking for something they can take you know out to the campfire or whatever so overall pretty great guitar let me know what you think thanks again for watching catch you soon see ya